Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-15E Strike Eagle. We have a bunch of uh, Charlie variant Eagles here, the F-15C. And on my other side, we got some F-15Es a little bit further down. Uh, we have to fight through a bunch of MiGs and Sukhoi 47s, uh, and we have to hit a base afterwards with some JDAMs. All of that obviously makes the assumption that we can push past uh, the Sukhoi 47s or the MiG 29s coming over here. Um, I looked it up on Google and like they say the Sukhoi 47 is pronounced Burkit, but I always thought it was Burkut, but I don't know. If you speak Russian, let me know in the comment section how you say this. Is it Burkut or Burkit? Uh, you could never get a straight answer out of Google. <laughs> so l let me know in the comment section below. Now we've done videos on the Sukhoi 47 in the past. They only ever made one of these things, but in this scenario I have two. Let's just assume that they went into serial production. Uh, I do have them on radar here. These numbers you see on the radar, the 2, 4, 3, 5, these are waypoints. And we just locked up something at 25,000 feet. I'm gonna put them into a, a TWS track, a TWIS track. And so I got the first guy locked at 25,000. He's uh, going over waypoint 345 right now and he has a second wingman in tow 19,000 feet and the F-15 radar man I can see everything <laughs> I can probably see what this guy had for lunch this radar is so powerful love this thing man uh, we're gonna climb basically there's just nothing that goes on in front of me that I don't know about <laughs> when it comes to the F-15 um, we're at range about 40 miles, 27,000 feet. Uh, let's shoot Fox 3. Defend here. I only have four AMRAMs. I'm carrying two tanks and four JDAMs, 2,000 pound JDAMs. Um, those are obviously to hit the base that we're supposed to hit but that requires us to get past these Sukhoi 47s. The guy I just shot at, I believe, was a Sukhoi 47, and I didn't want to double tap his wingman because he's too far back, and I don't have a lot of missiles, so I don't want to waste them. Uh, we'll just hold the lock for now. You want to defend kind of earlier. You know, I started defending at around 35, 40 miles because they are shooting the 77M, the modernized R-77, so it is quite a dangerous missile. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I was defending. I didn't want to get caught up there with my pants down and get smoked to the face with an R-77. Uh, still holding that lock. Looks like he's going cold. All right, we're still holding the lock on that. Uh, oh, uh, I think that's one of our eagles that pushed up. Looks like he ate a 77 to the face. Uh, he died, although the guy that I shot at, the Sukhoi 47, he defended cold and dove down pretty hard. And 
I think he might have survived my amram. recommitted. I have something on the ground. I think this is that same Sukhoi 47. 14 miles off the nose here. Definitely him. 12 miles, 11 miles. Fox 3. Oh, we'll defend here. That was a pretty close launch. I would be very surprised if he survived that. I'm going to go cold because there's no need to provide guidance to that AMRAM at that range at 11 miles. I'm turning cold above me in the cons, you can see those were the friendlies. Those are other F-15s up high, slinging AMRAMs. guy didn't die to that AMRAM at 11 miles. Wow. That's a Su-47 over there. That's the one I've been shooting at. He's defeated two of my AMRAM so far. I'm gonna have to turn around and face him again. <sighs> There's nothing more annoying than a bandit who won't die. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get a little closer to him. I mean, I thought 11 miles was close, but let's see if we got to get even closer. Uh, what do we got here? What is this? Yeah, oh, look at that. How convenient. Seven miles off the nose. Look at him. He's trying to come to the merge. That's a Su-47. Fox 3? It's very easy to tell it's a 47 because of those forward swept wings. Warning, fuel, low. Warning, fuel, Look at this. Low. Oh, hit him. Oh, he dis- wow. <laughs> He's got a secondary explosion there. He disintegrated. It's like some sort of explosive technology to make sure the enemy doesn't get <laughs> your technology or something. Okay, we've knocked out 147, which was actually quite difficult. Uh, I have one AMRAM remaining. And I'm gonna see, yeah, look at this radar, is showing me another guy flying low and somewhat fast down low. At 15 miles, let's push him. I think this is the 47 wingman, possibly. Oh, no. And if I can surprise him, you know, from like a flank and just smoke an AMRAM into his side, that would be Low awesome. Low that would solve this problem very quickly. <laughs> I don't know what that was that just flew beside him, but that's not my problem. I'm just trying to stay super focused on this 47 because I'm kind of coming in low 
I got Super Search going, and Super Search is not getting a lock for me. I don't know why. Boresight didn't get me a lock. Oh, we got a weird lock on something. That What is going on? I can't get a lock on this guy. He's coming right towards me. He's dropping flares. He's way too close for an Amram. I'm merged. Oh, that's very bad. I don't want to be merged. <laughs> Merge is bad. Not only am I a fat pig, I'm a, you know, 15 strike eagle carrying uh, four J dams. I'm very heavy. He's literally built to dogfight. That thing is like, you know, it's a super maneuverable dogfighter. <laughs> so this is a very bad situation for me. I gotta drop the tanks. Get rid of those. Where'd he go? just exploded right above my head. I don't even know what that was. I am in so much trouble right now. He's recommitting behind me. I need help. I need help like now. <laughs> like immediately. Be honest with you i'm surprised that i've survived this long although i think it's over because i'm almost no airspeed and he's got his nose on here and he's taking gunshots yeah okay he got me he got me i was somehow expecting a missile but yeah he got me with guns <sighs> okay well didn't get past the 47s <laughs> You win some, you lose some.